What up, my dudes? Today we're gonna to be making a Chinese takeout classic, General Tso's chicken. As always, this is gonna be gluten-free and delicious. If you give me a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you like what you see, I would appreciate that. But without further ado, let's get started. To start this recipe off, we're gonna grab two green onions and we're gonna remove the roots. And then we're gonna separate the top green part from the whites, giving the white part a nice, just little rough dice. And we're going to put it into a little salsa bowl and set it to the side. Then we're going to take the green tops of the green onion and give those a rough little dice. And then we're going to end up setting those in a salsa bowl off to the side. Two separate salsa bowls. We're going to peel ourselves three cloves of garlic. Like so. Then we're going to take two of those cloves and give them a nice little firm crush with our knife. And then a nice little rough chop slash dice right here. Nothing fancy. Just want them cut up into little pieces. We're going to take those and add them to the same salsa bowl that we had our bottoms of the green onion. That's the white part. And then we're going to get ourselves some chicken. For this recipe, we're using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. This is the best cut of meat for a general sauce chicken. You can use the chicken breast for this, but the thighs are going to be the far superior meat and much tastier. So we're going to put those on our cutting board. And then we're going to go ahead and trim off all the excess fat from these chicken thighs. We don't want this. It's, it's just not going to taste very good. Next, we're going to cube these up into one inch cubes. You can make them a little bit smaller if you want them to be a little bit more bite size. And we're going to stick them in a bowl off to the side, like so. Once we have our bowl of chicken, we're going to take a one inch piece of ginger that's been peeled and we're going to grate it over our chicken using only three quarters of it, reserving one quarter of it to grate over our other salsa bowl that's filled with garlic and green onion. Next, we're going to take one clove of garlic and grate it over our chicken. It should look like this once you're done. And then we're going to go ahead and grab one tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm using gluten free soy sauce for mine. You can use regular if you're not gluten intolerant or celiac. And we're just going to pour it over like so. Next, we're going to use some Japanese cooking wine called Mirin. It's a sweet cooking wine, and we're using one tablespoon. Add some MSG, about a half teaspoon if you want some extra flavor. You do not have to use this. It's optional. And then we're going to grab some white pepper that's been ground, a quarter teaspoon of this. You can also use black pepper instead if you don't have access to white pepper. Grab your hand and go ahead and mix this chicken up like so. Once it's mixed and combined, we're going to rest it in our refrigerator for about one hour to overnight. Now we're going to pour this into a bigger bowl because I used way too small of one. And we're going to add one cup of cornstarch to this to make our nice breading. Make sure you make a mess of your counter. That's part of the process. Did I mention that you can actually make this recipe vegan if you just don't make it? Next, take some tongs and we're going to go ahead and toss the chicken to coat. You don't want any bare spots whatsoever. You want the chicken completely covered in your cornstarch. Now we're going to grab ourselves some chicken broth and we're going to pour ourselves three quarters of a cup of chicken broth into a measuring cup. Now we're going to mix all the remaining ingredients into this to make our sauce. We're going to grab one tablespoon of garlic chili paste. This stuff is delicious and it's going to add a lot of spice. Then we're going to grab one tablespoon of rice vinegar then we're going to make three tablespoons of soy sauce again i'm using gluten free this is some gluten free hoisin sauce we're going to put in one tablespoon of hoisin sauce like so you can find this on amazon it is gluten free now we're going to add one teaspoon of sesame oil to this and one tablespoon of cornstarch. This is gonna help thicken it into a sauce later. And then we're gonna add two teaspoons of brown sugar or alternatively honey. Honey is preferred for this. Mix this all together until it's nice and combined like so and set it off to the side. Next, we're gonna grab that salsa bowl with our garlic and ginger and green onion and add one tablespoon of red chili flakes to it. I'm using Korean for this. Heat yourself up some oil to 350 degrees and then add your chicken in batches as to not overcrowd the pot. I had to do three batches for this. Yours will vary depending on how much chicken you use. Once the chicken looks like this, take it out and then add your next batch. Like so. I have a nice cooling rack off to the side to let it drain. 
Then once it's all done, we're gonna add all our chicken back to the pot for a nice double fry. This is gonna make our chicken extra crispy and extra delicious. Once it gets this nice deep golden brown color like so, we're gonna go ahead and take it out of our pot. Mmm, you can smell it frying. Now it's gonna be nice and moist on the inside and extra crispy like so. Grab a wok and add two tablespoons of oil to the wok. Once our oil is lightly smoking like so, this is called wok hay, we're gonna go ahead and add that salsa bowl that has all our garlic, ginger, and pepper flakes in it. I'm also adding four dried red chilies for extra spice, this is optional. Now we're just gonna saute this in the pan for a maximum of 30 seconds. Honestly, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter than that. And then we're gonna go ahead and add that sauce that we mixed together. Now we're gonna turn up our heat to high and bring this to a boil. Make sure you do not burn those chili peppers when you're toasting them earlier. And then you're gonna get this nice, deep, rich sauce like this once it thickens up. This is what you're looking for. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. Now you're gonna go ahead and add all that chicken that you had draining off to the side into your wok. You can toss it with a spoon like this, or if you wanna stunt on everybody and show everybody how much a baller you are, go ahead and toss it like this using nothing but your hands in the pan. Look at that. You wanna make sure all your chicken is nice and tossed. We don't want any dry spots of chicken. It should look like this when you're done. Now, grab a plate and with some white rice that you made beforehand, which I've failed to mention until now, put it on the plate. Then you're gonna go ahead and garnish this with green onion, like so. And then add some toasted white sesame seeds to the top of it. Just a light sprinkling. Mm, look at that. And now your General Sauce Chicken is ready. Okay, wifey test. Let's test. All right, General Sauce Chicken, what do you think? First impression. Really pretty color. Again, another thick, nice thick sauce with some, a little bit of green relish. Those are green onions. Cool. How is it? Good. Mm, there you go. <laughs> can't talk, can you? The pieces. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get my dish and I'm gonna taste it too. All right, guys, there you go. General Tso's chicken, gluten-free version. I made mine a little bit spicier than the restaurant does. A lot of restaurants make theirs kind of sweet, so. Mmm. It was banging. Sweet, spicy, savory, salty. And that crust. I don't know if y'all can hear this. Hold on. Let me get close. Now hear how crunchy that chicken is. Mm -hmm. And moist in the inside. Alright, let's cut the future Marshall. And there you have it folks, a delicious gluten-free General Tso's chicken. Just because you got celiacs or gluten intolerance doesn't mean you can't have Chinese takeout. You just gotta make it yourself. But anyway. If you give me a like, comment, and subscribe, I really appreciate it. Tell me what you want me to cook next. And as always, toodles.